let's get into our top five 4K movies that you can buy on disc, you can stream it, you can buy it on the Kaleidoscape, that you must own, that are our go-to movies to watch, whether it's for demo material or just for enjoyment. We're going to start off with Brian's list at number five. Brian, what is your number five 4K movie, disc, whatever, that you always go back to? Uh, I think my number five was actually The Shallows. The Shallows starring Blake Lively. Blake Lively. She goes to a, a beach that she used to share with her mom. <laughs> she gets caught on a buoy by a shark. So I like the I like Shallows. It was one of the first 4K Blu-rays that I had really tested. I love the uh, specular highlights, especially at the end when she shoots the um, spoiler when she shoots the oil, the whale oil. That mm -hmm. specular highlight. I love the sound when he hits the cage. Uh, pretty good movie. Pretty simple movie. So, uh, you know, not super clean, but clean enough. Really clean in certain shots. Pretty, but, uh, I think it's pretty clean. You yeah. know, excellent film. But the sound, yeah. the combination of both, I thought was excellent. Mm -hmm. So that would be my probably my number five that I go back to. And the ones that I picked, I don't know if Shane picked them like this, but I picked movies that I actually enjoy too. I know some of the other films that are, I don't know if you Well, picked. this list is the movies that we think that you we should rewatch yeah, multiple yeah, times. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you have to like There's it. There's plenty of good looking movies I can't watch again, but that would be mine. All right. So my number five movie that I always go to, which not only sounds spectacular, but I think also looks spectacular, which I know Brian's not going to like is... <laughs> It's a Godzilla. Man of Steel. Wrong, wrong Man of Steel movie, but yeah, you get the idea. Oh my bad. So, uh, Man of Steel. I love the color palette on this movie. Color palette. Very, very it's dank, color. dim. It is. Uh, <laughs> See, there's no color in that. It's just black and white, kid. <laughs> black levels are there. Specular highlights are there. Sometimes overblown, but it's an artistic choice, and I think it's a great looking choice. And uh, I think it's an enjoyable movie, very underrated movie as well. Oh, I love the film. I think yeah. It's Other than Great all the, the commercial, like having Sears in the background and like, I, are we talking, are we yeah, going like, back and forth or are we just going to just like, agree with each like other? Like IHOP. <laughs> like he's like, was it, she's like standing over and it's like IHOP and it's like Sears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, come on, man, get some pancakes while we're fighting. Oh, <laughs> uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, But not only sure. is Sears in the background in the middle of Smallville. <laughs> But also the audio, <laughs> perfect ten, <laughs> perfect ten audio, one of the best at most mixes out there. I think I gave it a ten or maybe a nine point nine or something like that. Killer bass, awesome directivity. I can't think of too many movies that sound better than it. That is oh, my yeah. number five. Must own. If you don't like it, you're a Marvel fanboy or girl. <laughs> for the one girl in the chat, which is Jennifer Agent. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Um, I would say. Literally. I thought that Man of Steel was a totally missed opportunity. I thought they should have kept going with that. They rushed all that. I thought, and I thought even the somber, serious Dragon Ball Z fight at the end was great. Sounded amazing. Um, I would say I don't love the picture quality, but that's on a TV. Just because Zack Snyder stuff, especially on a bright LED, that uh, that filter can look really, like again, overblown. But uh, I love the film, and um, I just wish that they had. When I watch a film like that, I'm like, damn, where's the sequel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the chick's name that was the Zara? Yeah. She was Fe amazing. Is that, no, Feora, I think it was. Feora. She yeah, was she awesome. Badass. The yeah. characters were cool. Um, but I wish they had stayed with that character instead of jumping into the Batman v Superman, which Shane loves. Cause he I love that movie. Yeah. It's not on my list, but I love that movie, though. <sighs> yeah. All right, so. So coming in at number four. Number four, I have Aquaman. Another DC movie. DC. Aquaman, uh, I think the movie's pretty good. I actually like the movie better than I did when it first came out. But the specular highlights, it's very saturated, great sound, um, very immersive. And because of the way the film is shot, underwater, out fighting, running around, it just covers all the different areas. So I was very happy with the way the film sounded and looked. That one, again, I go back and watch that more as demo material. But... Uh, I love that. The great film as far as demo material and I can sit through it. Kind of when you want to admire your own setup, that's one I definitely go to. I can see people loving that movie because it has the IMAX scenes in it as well. Yeah. Yep, so yep, yep. Not only do you get the black bars for you uh, 
cinema guys, but you also get the big IMAX scenes, which fill up your entire television. And they do that subtly, too. I like how they did that even with Dark Knight. They just do it, so yeah. they kind of open it up, and you're like, oh, okay. And uh, I like the movie, too. I mean, great colors in that one. I use that a lot when I'm doing, like, projector reviews and TV stuff as well, because it is so colorful. And, I mean, it goes... I think it's what is it master like four thousand nits i think yeah Dolby vision so mm -hmm. yeah one of the brightest most colorful movies i always reference it when i'm doing like movie reviews because it is so vibrant and colorful and i think that's one of those movies that people just love because it is so colorful so yeah good choice aquaman number four and coming in <laughs> at number four on my list is fury on 4k blu-ray slash itunes slash kaleidoscape I use this for every one of my subwoofer reviews because the audio is so standout. The bass is awesome. I love the movie as well. I love all the characters in it. Brad Pitt rocks. Uh, Logan Lerman. Shia LaBeouf, one of my favorite actors. He's just like... Shia LaBeouf is one of your favorite he's, actors? He's just been so good right, in his fellas. late movies. Good scene. <laughs> <laughs> in his late movies for his career in blew his up? his latter movies. <laughs> uh, he just kills it. I, I, how many of you guys have seen the Hot Ones episode with Shia LaBeouf? One of the best episodes. You ever see that when he's eating chicken wings? Never seen. Oh that? no, I did see that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. one of the best episodes. Um, so that is my number five. That's also a grainy movie as well. That looks very similar to Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. Also very similar to Suicide Squad because it was directed by uh, Ayer, David Ayer. Okay. So it shares a similar visual aesthetic with the film grain. Again, another movie that I picked that doesn't have a lot of colors in it. So it's a v muted color palette, a lot of blacks, greens, browns, grays. But stylistically, aesthetically, I love the visuals on that movie. And the sound is off the charts with the bullets fucking whizzing by your head, over your head, behind your head, coming from behind you, up front. It's crazy mix. Yeah. That is my number four. And that's, and, one, that's one you use actually in some of your sub, your yeah. sub videos, right? Yeah, like that all, my sub, all my sub reviews. Coming in at number three, number three Mine, is... <clears throat> Mine's a throwback to beginning of 4K Blu-ray, The Revenant with DiCaprio. Um, just good, great sounding movie, just crazy detail. And I think that one has a soft place in my heart because that was what kind of really introduced 4K Blu-ray. If you remember, that was one of those original discs. You're like, oh, wow, okay, that looks real. And again, kind of like um, Aquaman, but not like Aquaman because Aquaman is obviously very digital, maybe too clean. Um, the Revenant was very realistic, and mm -hmm. even the panning shots look like some of those demo material 4K things that we like. But I love the sound, um, even when the bear's grabbing them, throwing them. You can actually hear all the leaves and the surrounds. You're just like, I don't know. So, I believe he shot that in natural light. Yeah, That's why said that was the... Yeah. <laughs> he's like, all natural light. He's like, look, man, I'm really cold. Hang in there, bro. Hang in there. <laughs> it's getting dark. <laughs> But uh, that was, one again, one of the original 4K Blu-rays that you're like, okay, this is next level. Um, and it still has that filmic look to it, but clean enough mm -hmm. and real looking. Yeah. So I, I really appreciated that one. Even that bear scene looked pretty good, too. Dude, <laughs> that bear scene is so... <laughs> He's like grabbing him, shaking him around. You're like, oh, my God. All right. Uh, my number three is blade runner 2049 <laughs> this is one of those rare movies that i actually gave a 10 for audio and video again visually maybe not the most colorful movie mostly blacks reds yeah. grays <laughs> not only is it an enjoyable slow burn movie it's one of those movies you got to warm up to you got to watch it a few times it took midway. me it took me uh Speak, you talking about midway yeah it took me like eight times to enjoy 2049 oh, all right but uh audio wise is killer Big bombastic, especially towards the end, and also the eyeball scene. Killer. Visuals killer. Enjoyable movie for me. Complete package. That was my number three. So I'm going to change my number two because it's not the dating show because I had Blade Runner 2049. I'm going to switch it out for Ready Player One, um, uh. which is, you don't like it, baby? So Ready Player One has the same Zack Snyder blown out, grainy in the real world, but I love... The sound, the races in it, the Back to the Future references, the last fight. So I'm going to go Ready Player One for not so much just picture quality. And picture quality is okay. I mean, the outs, the shining part is really grainy, too grainy. But I love the sound and I actually really like the movie. So if this is rewatchable stuff, then um, I'll go Ready Player One. Coming in at number two for me is Edge of Tomorrow. 
You can only watch this on Voodoo, and you can only watch it on the Kaleidoscape. I'll catch it tomorrow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or live, die, repeat for many of you other guys out there. But I constantly go back to this movie, not only in 3D, but in 4K as well. But I do enjoy the 3D. But I like Edge of Tomorrow. Again, another movie. A bit grainy. Not a lot of colors in it. Very muted colors again. I've been picking all these muted color movies. I don't know why. What's going on here? Uh, I like the black and white. It's beautiful. <laughs> but it's got an outstanding Atmos mix. If you missed the review, I did a review on it a few about a year back. Uh, it's on the Cladiscape and based on the Voodoo stream. So if it's on the Cladiscape and on Voodoo, it's going to inevitably come on 4K Blu-ray. Maybe this year. I don't know. But standout Atmos mix, standout visuals, not maybe not a 10, maybe like a 9 or something like that, I think it was. Um, enjoyable movie. I like these movies where they die and come back, Groundhog Day type of thing. I enjoy those movies. Very underrated sci-fi movie as well. Great flick. Yeah, awesome. Uh, people hate on Tom Cruise because he's a Scientologist, but come on, man. The man makes some awesome movies. Who has a movie where every movie in the franchise gets better, except for Tom care Cruise? I he's a Scientologist. I mean, <laughs> nowadays, it's the least of my problems yeah. is Scientology. He's, he's the man. He um, awesome, I actually dude. liked him better doing movies like that versus now he's got he's fallen into like Mission Impossible 15 yeah, and yeah. you know go back to doing collateral and uh I saw it was a Howard Stern did an Emily what's her name Emily Blunt that's her name right Yeah is Emily Blunt so they did an interview with her and he's like I love that movie with what's his name <laughs> and she's like there's no way they're going to make a sequel to it even though the movie was successful because um it's not based on some you know franchise so they're not making movies anymore that aren't based on something it's like oblivion was kind of i like the movie too i like oblivion That's Oblivion sounds movie. great so mm -hmm. um you're not going to get those so now what we're going to get is part nine of the and i like the mission impossible but they're so formulaic they're, they're the yeah, same they're good they're good did i even say my yo my number one we're number one now yeah yeah <laughs> number one all right uh, uh pacific rum rim is my number one uh gorgeous film super saturated beautiful movie uh my favorite blu-ray by far and the one i go back to the most simply because it's full screen and just gorgeous looks good on oleds looks good on projectors looks good on uh leds good 3d movie as well one of the best 3d movies i've seen oh it is good in 3d yeah yep. yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go this one's gonna be a tough one for you most of you guys but my number one oh yeah this the plan? movie the movie i watch all the time one specific scene, actually two specific scenes, is Heat on 4K. It's only a 5.1 on Kaleidoscape and on Voodoo, but maybe not the best looking movie or the best sounding movie, but it is one of the most enjoyable movies that I that I think, definitely in my top five movies of all time. Maybe not a stunner visually, but uh, it's pretty dim too, actually. I was going to do a review on it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the the, Dude, you're pure, you're just... the shootout. Oh my god, that sounds incredible! It's always the shootout sounds, sounds awesome. That sounds like good in DVD. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's our list for our top five must-have 4K movies on Blu-ray, digital, Cloud Escape. What's on your list? Leave it down in the comments and let us know.